Welcome back to Fire Emblem Dream of Five. This is chapter one, and I played the start of the chapter off screen. Um, I made pretty similar moves to what I did before, and I figured you guys would want to see me struggle through this chapter for the third time. <laughs> so I got back to this point. The ambush spawns came, but I'm ready for them this time. And what I'm going to do differently is I'm going to look one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to do this. So I'm going to put Gareth here instead because I want to do this. Nah. Actually, no, let's just do it. Let's just see if this works. Nice. So now maybe he'll die. He'll die. Okay, so I kind of feel like I need to just like wait here and see what happens. Let's just heal him up just in case anything funky goes down and we'll get moving. Okay, nice dodge. That's a hit. All right, that's what we needed. Yeah, so, again, like, you went for Gareth? Really? Why? I guess the low hit rate? Is that how the AI is functioning? I don't know. That's so bizarre. I was not expecting that at all. And that missed, that's, that's unfortunate. All right, well, that was an interesting turn of events. All right, so. These hit rates are just so, I can just, just I can roast this dude. Um, let's do this. Having a Jagan that can do big chips like that with bows is really fun. You should try it sometime. Um, let's just go for it. Get up close to personal 74, nice. Yes, I gotta get Amelia some skill. So, I'm hoping I get this guy down to nine. Can you do it with nine? No, you can't. What about you? You can do it. Yeah, let's do this. We'll give Colbane some love. And we'll heal, we'll heal Renair with our boy Asher Roth here. He loves college, he loves the parties, and now Cobain's gonna get this kill. Let's see. Level ups, I think we're roughly the same as last time. Um, I don't really remember anything too different. Maybe like a point in like a stat that I don't really care about right yet. Like, oh, we got like no luck and got res instead. You know, like whoopee, like nothing, nothing too crazy to report. Uh, on that front, so let's um, let's just get Illinois over here with the iron sword, and we'll do that. I'm just like so ready for ambush bonds now. Nice dodge, lure him in, dodge him. And then... All right, so no more ambush bonds it looks like. So I'm gonna send Illinois over here to get this guy. So this is the javelin house that ended up being Asher's end. The can't believe he got doubled. I guess he does only have five speed. That's so unfortunate. Uh, okay, let's do... That doesn't really matter. I may, I'm actually probably better off doing this. Yeah, and then we'll have Amelia come in. Using your lord for chip damage. What a world, guys. Let's see. Renair, let's go. Level five. Resistance. <laughs> All right, well, you got two strength level ups, so I guess you you were due for a bad one. Um, you got off to a strong start, though, so I won't complain. Amelia, there we go. Okay, Amelia's first level up. Let's see, what does she do? HP, luck, defense. All right, all right, all right. I mean, you're going to need those stats anyway. Whoa! Guile's theme for the victory music? That's pretty nutty. Okay, I'm like kind of scared to like take my units like too far away. I'm gonna put Asher in the forest. I'm gonna s I'll send Illinis over to the shop and then I'll get the everyone else up top. Okay, magic skill, HP, all right. Do, 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 do. 
Whoa, custom shop. Yeah, so you could just see, like, look how much love went into this game. Custom generics, custom shop art with background. Like, this is just, like, this is so much. I'll uh, we'll do a heal. Do I want a potion? I feel like I want a potion. I feel like I'm gonna need the potion, but I can buy it later. I'm gonna see what else is in the armory before I commit. I wonder what this whole like big space up here is. Like that can't just be empty space. Oh, look at this like edgelord dude here selling armor stuff. Do I want a hand axe? I think I do. That price. Oh, I don't have a merchant. Can I sell anything? No. Nothing I should sell. Oh, I goofed. Okay. Let's see. We'll do this. Oh, you can't use the javelin. Oh, you can use the javelin. Okay. We'll fill you up before you send off to the army. I'll get, we're going to get a hand axe. I feel like Gareth could use the hand axe. Iron Lance would be nice, but I'll probably get one later. I'll keep the supports going. I'm just assuming there are supports. I, I have no idea. Alright, so this is like, so this is what I meant. Like, you do all this work right up front, and then the, um, and then like the game just like kind of puts you in the spot where it's like, well, you know, Here's the boss. Go fight him. And it's just like, you have to move a lot. Not crazy about this design. Uh, sorry, I skipped the conversation. Whoa, it's got some, a brigand with a shirt. It's one of them fancy brigands. Okay, we'll do... Let's check the mirror in case this guy moves. Okay, he doesn't move. Gareth just whittling him down with the iron bow. I probably should have bought Gareth an iron bow. He's putting in some work with that. Let's see. Do I give this one to Colbain? Over there. Amelia? Colbain might actually get the level, so let's do this. Too young. I wonder if there was some like TLP type stuff in the top right of this map because it was really big. Strength and speed. All right, that was a good choice. I'm glad I did that. All right, that's the last of them. Bastards. There's sure to be more of their ilk skulking around. Wouldn't surprise me if one's already fleeing to their hideout. Good. When we find it, I'll torch the place right then. I'll see if I can find some damn torches. We got some. We got this. We got Mark. Who is this? A merchant? No, it's August. No, I don't know who this is. No, Commander. He claims to be. I can speak for myself, lad. So be it. I'm a tactician by trade. A master in my craft. This here is some tell of it. I hail from Grell Sets in the east and was headed through this place on a caravan when this regrettable embargo was set up. I've been held here for three days, and well, you know the rest. So, what can you give us? Money? Provisions? He says he can. I can lead you to the hideout, and moreover give you my advice, which is by far the more useful. I shall stay with you for as long as I find it convenient. I have no destination in mind. I find travel so very liberating this way, don't you think? Fine. Colvain, bring the old man, but keep him in check. We need to be ready to move in a few minutes. Commander. Alright, what's going on over here? Ah, you're wounded, I shall. No, please, it's just a scratch. Even a scratch can fester here. Let me... You are kind. It wasn't a problem. May the gods be with you. And you. So that is what it feels like to fight. Exhilarating. Exhilarating? Of course. This is the first chance I've had ever to fight my own battles. To live or die by my own actions. It's a wonderful feeling. Did you die already? Wouldn't you say? Um, I suppose. Mostly I'm just worried about surviving. Oh, I could live this way for the rest of my life. Amelia, you wish to stay? Of course. But are you going? I. Oh, please don't go. I can't lose another mother. Not now. We'll take any who can fight. Bread and board are given in the good times. Get what you can scavenge in the bad. <laughs> That's how Sergeant sold it to me. Honest man. Didn't win in many applicants, but he says he doesn't want people joining up for imaginary banquets. Well, I can see neither of you will be dissuaded. Tell the commander I fight under her banner. 
Right you are. Glad to have you. My name is Colbain, and all this, I don't think anyone would have gotten around to telling you. I'm Milanese, and this is here as Amelia. Isn't this bloody splendid? Let's have a little tea party in the slightly charred town center, why don't we? Inside. Sir. Get our spare weapons. We're moving out. So you want to stay then? Yes, sir. Very much, if you'll have us. Ha! You must be mad. So be it, then. Let's move out. So that was chapter two. We did it, guys. We finally figured out the mystery of chapter two, and it was, don't make any stupid, silly mistakes. Um, but yeah, so that's chapter two, guys. And what do I got to say about it? So I like the map layout, or at least I like the aesthetic of the map. Like, that was pretty cool. Um, the events are really, really well done. And you can just imagine how much time it took at the time this was made to actually put that all together with the gate unlocking and all of the scenes and all this stuff. Like, it's really flashy. Like, that was, like, better than some of the stuff you see in Vanilla, even. Like, that was really, really cool. Um, and I can appreciate the, the level of effort that went into making that happen to really help tell the story and kind of dovetails the marriage. But the writing, I think, is pretty nice so far. Like... Um, I'd say it's a little a little heavy overall not heck heavy in terms of tone or context but just like there's just a lot of it like I kind of was like alright like let's just get into the battle already um, but it doesn't make it any less good like it is I think it's pretty well written um, I like the way everyone's being characterized so far like I think the characters feel distinct in their own way but not you know like here's my gimmick and this is what I do and like let's just like I'm a walking gimmick in every conversation like it it definitely feels like the characters like feel like pretty thought out so far I like the way like the dynamic is getting set I also like that Renair is so no BS I think that's pretty good for a lord to just be like all right we're gonna do it and we're gonna figure it out um, we're gonna move like totally like in charge um, which I think it's great I think it's not a nice change of pace from like the wishy-washy sort of you know, I'm a good-natured lord. Um, I think it's pretty pretty interesting dynamic. Um, I like Gareth. I like when he commented about a tea party. Um, I thought that was funny. And, um, yeah, like, I think so far, like, I think that's a, a good way to start the story. Now, the things I don't like. Uh, the flow. The flow of the map was really off. It's just, like, everyone floods you the moment you open the door. And then you kind of just have to like crawl to the boss and go shopping, which feels like I think one from like a narrative standpoint is kind of weird that like you can just like kind of go off and shop while like the town is still being overrun. Um, I didn't really love that. Um, I didn't love the ambush spawns. Like I think it was fine here because you would have had to be, you know, running and gunning to get there at the turn those guys showed up like you would have to be blitzing this map so hard with Garath but getting lucky dodges all over the place to even get to a point where that would have mattered so it isn't in my mind that big of a deal is it potentially going to become annoying yes am I glad that I know that the game does this and if those were an example of hey we do ambush spawns in this game get ready then I think that that was a fine sort of warning shot to the player. Like, you know, this game is not going to mess around. There are going to be ambush spawns. Deal with it. So I think that I'll just have to deal with it. Um, I'm excited and curious to see how ambush spawns get handled because I think it's one of those things, like, I feel like there's not a lot of upside to ambush spawns. I feel like there's a ton of downside to them if they're executed poorly. Like, I don't think this one was executed poorly. I think it was executed pretty well. But, like, what did it really add? It just kind of was like, oh, shit, I need to, like, turtle in the forest for a sec. That's conveniently placed here. Um, which I didn't really dislike. Um, I mean, it killed me because I was careless because of the ambush spawn. But it wasn't a direct result of, like, enemy spawns and I die. It was enemy spawns and I positioned myself poorly because I got too comfortable. Which is my own fault. So I don't fault the ambush spawn for that. Um... But as far as the characters go, like, my units don't feel... Gareth feels really good, but he's the Jagan, so he should. My other units all feel pretty decent, I would say. Like, um, I think 
Elanice and Amelia both felt a little like usable but weak or weak but usable I should say Renair's doing really well I think getting two strength level ups really helps her out quite a lot um, just hitting some key benchmarks like being able to one round that, that guy earlier on in the chapter um, Colbain got some nice level ups too so like I'm pretty happy with both of them so far I'm curious like how these other units go Asher getting doubled really sucked uh, I did not like that at all I'm hoping that that won't happen again so and he didn't get a great level he got magic but hey like he's a healer so you know he'll have a little bit more but um, anyway I've rambled on quite a lot about this chapter it's only chapter one guys we have a long way to go and there's a route split apparently I was just reading on discord there's a route split who boy I gotta do some research on that front but anyway guys thanks again for watching this has been chapter one bonds and blood of fire emblem seven rom hack fire emblem dream five i'm your host pondon like subscribe tell all your friends and i'll see you around we'll see you for chapter two which is get ready for it italy headhunt oh man what a cryptic sounding title and then it goes into this like lovely fe7 music but anyway guys i'll see you next time